Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The City of Edina's 2017 Quality of Life Survey is underway. The City contracted with National Research Center to develop an in-depth survey. It includes questions about quality of life in Edina, local policies and amenities, rating of local government services, and resident use of government services and facilities. A random and strategic sample of 1,500 households received invitations to participate in the mailed survey. Their confidential responses will be weighted and analyzed. We're not looking for just a happy affirmation of all the great things that we do. We're looking for insights into how we can do better, how we can improve the quality of life in Edina. National Research Center staff will develop a report of survey findings to the city in June. Data will be compared to 2015 results as well as results in comparable cities. The one block street segment connecting Halifax Avenue to France Avenue between 50th and 49th streets may soon have a new name. The segment is currently named West 49 and a half street. The half is awkward to say and write, so city manager Scott Neal proposed it go back to its original name, Market Street, before an anticipated major redevelopment in the area. At a public hearing last month, those in attendance supported the name change. And if there is going to be a change made to the street, this would be the most opportune time to be doing it ahead of the project itself. There aren't too many property owners there at this time compared to what potentially is going to be there with a redevelopment. You know, each new guest that you have, you've really got to take time to explain to them just where you're at. And with the development happening um, on the street, I think I hear just a lot of frustration from like my neighbor next door and, and others. So I just think it'd be a great idea and would be helpful. So. The City Council is expected to approve the name change early this month and begin the process of updating maps and documents. The City of Edina and Edina Public Schools have enjoyed a long partnership serving the residents of Edina. Now a new appointment to the Parks and Recreation Commission will help maintain the quality of parks and facilities that residents can enjoy. Edina TV's Chris Leskowski has more on the new position. Well, good morning, Michelle, Jane. This partnership was a long time coming for Edina Public Schools Director of Community Services, Valerie Burke. We use Park and Rec for our football, our tennis sometimes, our hockey. And so that's a great a great way to work in a community. She's referring to a new partnership between Edina Parks and Recreation and Edina Public Schools. Our administration and the city's administration have been working together kind of for years just to talk about um, the alignment between community education and parks and rec. I'd like to call to order that... Those fruitful conversations have become one of the reasons Burke is joining the city's Parks and Recreation Commission as a non-voting member. It was a logical choice because I have been a 30-year resident, but more importantly, because community ed and parks and rec work so closely, it would make sense for me to sort of understand the happenings. Edina Parks and Recreation Director Ann Catry says the two's strong relationship will make Burke's addition to the commission a big benefit for both parties. We're looking forward to having Val join the Parks and Recreation Commission. I've worked with Val for many years and she's a tremendous professional. She knows community education not only in Edina but across the state. I feel like the community education department in Edina is really cutting edge and we look forward to continuing to share information, sharing knowledge, sharing information about programs and facilities and Val is just a wonderful resource for us. It's kind of fun going in like this because I really am carrying nothing other than a desire to serve and a resident of Edina and you know representing the school district. Chris Laskowski, Edina TV. Burke will serve in her position on the Parks and Recreation Commission for one year. We hope you're enjoying these first days of spring. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.